Hi. Now, if you've done my tutorials on transformations of matrices and you want further revision, then these two parts to this question are very useful. So, if you haven't done this question already, just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So, what we've got then is a right angle triangle T has vertices A. 1, 1, B, 2, 1, and C, 2, 4. And when T is transformed by the matrix P, which equals 0, 1, 1, 0, the image is T prime. And in part A, we've got to find the coordinates of the vertices of T prime. And then we've got to describe fully the transformation represented by P. Okay, so... If we're going to do this, you don't have to do this, but uh, I've just got the triangle T just roughly sketched out here, where A is at 1, 1, B is at 2, 1, and C is at 2, 4. So when we're trying to work out T prime, all we've got to do is take the matrix P and multiply it by the matrix that represents this triangle T. So we'll start then with part A and what we've got here is just copy down matrix P which is 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay? And now we multiply it by the matrix that represents the shape T. So if we start with A, we've got 1, 1. Remember we write it vertically now. We're looking at essentially the position vectors from the origin O to any of these points A, B and C. So O to B will be 2, 1 and O to C would be 2, 4. Okay. Now if we multiply this out in the usual way then we're going to go top row with each of these columns here. So it's going to be 0 times the number on the top plus 1 times the number on the bottom. Well if you do that for any of these columns here you're going to get 0 times the top number which is going to leave it as 0 and then you're just going to add 1 times the bottom number. So all you're going to get in fact is the bottom numbers coming up on the top row here. And when we go to do 1, 0 times each of these columns here, we'll do 1 times the top number plus 0 times the bottom number. Well, all the bottom numbers will end up being 0, so you just get 1 times each of the top numbers, returning 1, 2, and 2. Okay? So, this is our image matrix for T prime. If we were to plot these points out, we would get something like this, okay? A stays put at 1, 1. B is now over here at 1, 2. And C is over here at 4, 2. Anyway, it wanted us to write down the coordinates of those vertices. So if we just say, therefore, the coordinates... Okay, of T prime R, and they're going to be 1, 1, as we have here, 1, 2, and 4, 2. Okay? Now, for part B, it says describe fully the transformation represented by P. And if you drew the sketch here, you most probably could see straight away that it represents a reflection in the line y equals x. So for part b then we could say that p represents okay, a reflection in the line y equals x. Now it's not the only way that you can do this, okay, because if you didn't draw a sketch, the other way is just to look at the unit base vectors. We should know what a matrix like this does. Just to recap, by looking at the unit base vectors, they're the vectors where 
we take first of all the unit base vector along the positive x-axis that's the vector 1 0 and we say where does that go well it goes to this first one here 0 1 if we mark that in 0 1 up there then you can see that's gone from there to there and that could be a rotation for instance of 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin it could still however be a reflection it's got to be consistent with us considering the movement of the other base vector and the other base vector that we work with is the unit base vector 0 1 so if we draw 0 1 in there okay 0 1 where does that go to well when we look at the matrix P it goes to 1 0 so 1 0 is this vector here and so if you had a rotation of 90 degrees about the origin anti-clockwise this one would not have gone to there it would have gone out this way so what is consistent is a reflection in the line y equals x where this one goes to 0 1 and 0 1 goes to 1 0 okay so that's an alternative way that you could describe fully that transformation represented by P Okay?